But it is interesting to see the move, the move here from Citadel in, into crypto. And it's important to understand that because people, when you look at Bitcoin, this is why I'm so bullish on Bitcoin. I don't know where it's going to be. In three months from now, it could be 20,000. I have no idea. I just know over time, this thing's going to be well over 100,000. And over time, it could be two years, four years, five years, six years. And I'm saying that because of the math and because of the data. And if you're looking at Citadel, I mean, you know, I just announced that the companies, Schwab, Fidelity, Citadel, Sequoia and Paradigm. Paradigm is very, very big in, invest from, uh, in uh, uh, investing in tons of cryptos in the crypto space. They're also expanding consortium wealth managers, market makers, industry leaders. That's what they're saying, right? So you're looking at, and then you come down to Fidelity. Fidelity is $4 trillion as to the management, maybe, what, 25%, $1 trillion is in retirement funds, 401ks. You take 10% of that, that's $100 billion. They said, what was it, 20%, Daniel, that they're going to allow for people to use 20%? Oh, to allocate in 401k? Yeah, we'll say if they use 10%. I think 20% is a little bit crazy, as I said. You well, that was the high water mark. That was yeah. the high water mark. Let's say if it's 10%, that's $100 billion. That, that's 15, close to 15% of Bitcoin's market cap. That's just from Fidelity. BlackRock has $10 trillion. Vanguard has over $8 trillion. State Street has, has, has close to $4 trillion. And when Fidelity opens up that door... It's uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. They all have to follow because if they don't follow, and that's what these companies are realizing, it's what JP Morgan's realizing. It's really Cit uh, it's what Citadel's realizing. All these guys that hated crypto is realizing that if we don't open up this door, our customers are going to leave and go to places that offer this. And they are going to leave, and you're going to see outflows from these places into Fidelity because they're going to want to invest in crypto because it's very, very exciting. That's where they want to speculate. And when you speculate in this money, the returns could be. 30x, 50x, 100x, which we've seen in almost all the top 100 cryptos at one time or another, which you cannot see those gains anymore. People are worried about, uh, uh, wondering why the, pro the the public markets are shrinking and not as many companies are, are going public. Why? With all the regulation, all the bullshit, all the cells, all these SPACs, all this garbage where well, you don't have to disclose stuff, why don't you stay private? And then you have security tokens, which opens the doors where you can trade these private companies like ours that are private companies that trade publicly. Uh, where you could buy and sell our shares based on what we're doing, right? So, you know, you, it's less liquid, but, you know, we haven't gotten hit nearly as much as the rest of the market because, you know, we're not as liquid. But, you know, we are going to have more liquidity. It's going to be building up that market. There's a lot to be said of this. But the takeaway is this, guys. Bitcoin is here. It's here to stay. It's a massive market. And all the institutions have yet to come in. That's why that Biden announcement executive order was such a big deal. At least he announced it. Which now the framework is in place. You're seeing more and more framework, more and more politicians come out and say, hey, we're going to provide the, you know, the framework behind this. When they do, that's when you're going to see institutional money coming in. And the institutional money is in the trillions of dollars. So if you're a Bitcoin fan and say, oh, this, everything should be decentralized and, 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 you know, off platforms, you know, no regulation or whatever. If you want that, there's no way you could think that Bitcoin's going to 100,000. The way it goes to 100,000 is by getting the big money in, which is all this retirement accounts, talking trillions and trillions of dollars. Where does Bitcoin have a $600 billion market cap or something? So this is where the money's flowing into. It's coming in. Fidelity announced it. You're going to see BlackRock, Vanguard, St State Street. All these guys are going to announce it. They're going to have crypto as an alternative investment for retirees that you could invest in. The funds are coming. That's when you're going to see this explode. I don't know when it's going to happen. We're in a bear market. We're risk off. People are deleveraging right now, and I get it. But with Bitcoin down as much as it is, 50% of its highs, now's the time. Put a little bit in. Don't go all in. Start looking at some of these cryptos that are great innovations, great companies. That's what we're doing. That's what we're going to as well. That's where the puck is going. And you see it with all these, the Jamie Diamonds, the Ken Griffiths that, that hated this stuff, that hated this stuff, are now saying, wait a minute. Okay, this stuff is for real. Whether they believe it's real or not, they know that their clients want it and they're going to offer it, which means trillions and trillions are going to flow into this industry over the next few years. And where do you think cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, where do you think they're going to go? They're going to go a lot higher. That's why you need to get into it. Agreed. Yeah, just scale into it. I mean, if, you, if you're if you worried about the price volatility, just buy a little bit less. And like you said in the past, if you have exposure now and it goes up, great. You get to participate. Yeah, you can kick yourself. You didn't buy more. If it goes down, you can look to scale into it as long as your thesis doesn't change. Just... That's just the nature of environment. That's just, that's the gray area. That's the profession we've chosen. So you got to get comfortable with that and you just got to do it. You learn by doing. Yeah, you'll, you'll see prices move against you. Seeing red sucks when you open your brokerage account, Frank. But um, as long as your thesis is intact, you can continue to manage and plug away because the inner working, the big tail wins, the global tail wins uh, are working in your favor for higher prices. So I think that's great. It's good to be bullish. And like I said, bear markets and stocks and 
commodities or Bitcoin or whatever is when you really make your money. So build your positions and then the next run that's cyclical, cash out some and take some off the table and then re- rinse and repeat. No, and, and just for the record, guys, we're seeing a massive bear market, right? A lot of capital, you know, getting, getting wiped out and yet you're seeing a ton of money, go, billions going to the metaverse. Ethereum just announced, in a, a Ethereum NFT game, Illuvium sells over 72 million digital land plots. This is from like a day or two ago. Uh, where the land plot is going to provide various benefits in an upcoming PC and, and Mac game due out later this year. I mean, we're in TCG world, you know, our deal there. You're seeing tons of money flowing to NFTs, metaverse. Uh, even Apple talk about, uh, you know, fintech and where they're going. Uh, you know, this is where the innovation is taking place. And if this was a strong market right now, you'd see just so many of these industries within crypto exploding right now. But the fact there's a big deleveraging taking place, the Fed's tightening. Once that ends, which I think is going to be at the end of this year, the Fed's going to say, okay, well, we're seeing inflation moderate. That's why it's important because if it moderates and starts coming down, the Fed could say, you know what? We're not going to tighten as aggressive. We're going to be easy. And that's when you're going to see the markets really, really take off, really, really take off from here. And that's what we need to see. And that's going to be sometime probably next year, if I had to guess, early next year. Uh, and then, you know, when it comes to crypto and the amount of money that is going to flow in, you think it's billions and billions now in this terrible market. Think about if it's a good market. Uh, that's when you're going to see investments come into all these new innovations. But the fact that you still see this money coming in this market, Daniel, is absolutely impressive. It's amazing. We were able to raise money for, for our real estate purchase in TCG World, which we think is going to be the greatest open metaverse 4K around, uh, which is open in September. We're very, very excited about that deal, and more and more people keep signing on to that platform. But this is where, I say it a lot, where the puck is going. This is where the money is going right now. Uh, the big institutional money is going and you should be investing it because a lot of these things are down significantly and it's yep. giving you a great opportunity to invest in this thing over the long term. So uh, I'd position accordingly. Absolutely. And like you just said, we're not going to get out of these bear market rallies or bear market or major headwinds for lower indice prices across the board until the Fed changes their tune on rates. So until then, just... Keep in mind that we're in a different environment than what we've been in. So that's fine. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean you can't play or make money. It just means that that's the most important macro point you can think of. And just continue listening to us for six months and we'll navigate <laughs> you through there until they finally do something. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to make you guys money if you listen to us. <laughs> no, oh, no, we can't. Oil, hey, we got some losers, but we're, no, you know, yeah. oil and commodities is fine. And yeah. those are going to continue to do we well and yeah, we'll take advantage of it. Um, probably our portfolio is holding up much, much better than the markets. Uh, you know, we did stop out like everybody else.